Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 6 under playlist computer networks. In this video, I am going to discuss some important question back that will be useful for you. Come let's go into the video. Stay tuned for more information, like, share, comment and subscribe. So these are the some important question I am going to discuss with you today. So what is the first question? Explain three modes of communication. So this comes under 10 mark. So what is communication? So when you see a question, not only this question, whenever you see a question, you divide that question into three parts. You divide it as giving a definition for that question and giving some layout for the question and explaining the layout. So these are the best ways that you can study easily. So the first part of this question is definition. So here in definition you can tell about what is communication or how communication takes place, how it is divided into three modes of communication. So you can say communication is nothing but transferring a data from one end to the another end. So under this computer networks, the mode of communication is divided into three, simplex, half duplex and full duplex. So under full duplex, half duplex and uh, simplex mode, you can give a layout for each of these three modes and explanation can be, these are the keywords that I have been explained. So for simplex mode, you can remember the word unidirectional. So the data is transmitted in an unidirectional way only one data at a time can be passed to the other end and for half duplex mode you can remember that transmission and receiving part takes place but not at the same time at different times both transmission and receiving of data will take place so finally for full duplex you can remember this point that it can transmit and receive data at simultaneously at the same time both the things takes place so after explaining this you can give some good example real time example for simplex mode half duplex mode and full duplex mode so simplex mode you can tell that uh, you, uh, like you connect a Wi-Fi where only direction that is uh, data is fetched from Wi-Fi and given to the client side. So and for half duplex you can tell that the telephone conversation one one will speak one will listen after you complete speaking the other person from the other end will speak. So like this some examples you can provide. Let's go into the second question. So demonstrate in detail about LAN, WAN and internet work. So we have seen in other video a detailed description about LAN, WAN, how it is divided, how communication takes place. So I will give you a small gist. So in first part, you can tell what is LAN, so local area network. Local area network in the sense it is covering a small area between the host and the client. WAN is wide area network where the host is connected in a large geographical area. Internetworking is nothing but two or more networks like WAN or connector together will form an internetwork. So internetwork is nothing but you any WAN or any LAN can be connected. So all these constitute to form an internetworking. So your first part is over. Now you can give a small layout for LAN, WAN and internetwork. After giving this for explanation, you can take some real time scenarios. So for LAN, you can take real time scenarios that has home network. So home network is the best example. See, you will have a Wi-Fi connected in the home where with this Wi-Fi only your PCs will be connected, your tab will be connected, your uh, televisions will be connected, your phone will be connected. But this is uh, within a small area. So this is the best example. And real time scenario for WAN, you can give cloud services. So you will have n number of LANs connected to WAN that is all these LAN will interact to the WAN through cloud services. The data of all these LANs can be accessed through WAN when it is saved in the cloud. And real time scenario for internet working is you can give a brief, brief note on how internet is booming in today's world. Without internet nobody can live. So you can give some brief examples or points on how internet is booming, booming in today's scenario. 
Next question is interrupt the two most common types of switched networks. So first part definition you can give. So what is switching? Switching is nothing but forwarding of data. That is from one network you can forward the data to the another network with the help of switch or with the help of hub that is called as switching. So this switching is divided into circuit switched and packet switched. So circuit switch, switched is nothing but there will be a dedicated line between two routers or two switch in the form of a circuit. So you can say that it is forming a circuit between two hosts. So that is circuit switch network. So what is packet switch network? Here you have switch. Here you will have a switch in the form of packets. So large data are divided into small pockets or small the messages are divided into small pockets and it is delivered at he, each host. So this is packet switched network. Now explanation can be given in a real time scenario. So real time scenario for circuit switch network is dial up network that is a telephone network connected. So here this will be the central hub of a telephone network where n number of users using in uh, the home using in the home they will be using many te uh, telephones right dial up networks so they all will be connected to one central hubs bsnl telephone exchange if you have one telephone exchange will be provided for an area where n number of connections will be made through large cables so that you can give for circuit switch network because it is cable connected through cable forming a circuit so real time scenario for packet switch network is again same dial up networks but here how it works is the communication in the dial up networks will give you a real time scenario of how packet switch network is working so from one end someone is speaking if it is a large message what the transmission line will do is it will divide the message into different pockets so this pockets will have the ability to either store the data or transmit the data immediately to the client side so this will be a good example for your packet switch network. Next is demonstration of multiplexing and demultiplexing with example. So first you should tell what is multiplexing. So multiplexing is encapsulating several number of pockets to, from the higher level. From higher level to the lower level you are encapsulating the data that is multiplexing. Demultiplexing is you are dividing that is decapsulating the data and delivering the data to several high layer networks from the low layer networks. So with the help of the arrow mark only you can clearly understand the concept that is multiplexing is say suppose this is available in the final application layer. So this FTP and HTTP file is transferred to the transport, lay, uh, transport layer and this this uh, DNS and SNMP is also uh, transferred to the transport layer. Now finally it is delivered to the internet protocol layer that is this protocol is followed in the network layer. So finally it comes to the network. So several higher layer protocols is transferring the data to the lower area network. Here the same thing happens but in ultra way vice versa. So this data the, the data from the network layer is decapsulated to other area higher layer protocols. So you can give this as an example. So you can say in each of the layer how it is represented. Say uh, for example in application layer the message is said to be message. The word is message or name. And in network layer it is said as datagrams. Data link layer it is formed as frames. So you can explain all those. Next is classification of like how you can classify encapsulation and decapsulation. So what is encapsulation? Encapsulating the data that is by which the lower layer area receives the data from the higher layer area. So same thing for decapsulation process by which the higher layer protocol receives the data from the lower layer. So phys from physical layer how it is traveling to the application layer. See with this uh, with this diagram only you can tell encapsulating is from higher layer to lower layer decapsulating is from lower layer to higher layer. And here in this encapsulating and decapsulating you can control the flow of the data you can control the error of the data. 
Next is distinguish between the circuit switch and packet switch network. So you can give several points under circuit switch, uh, telling that the circuit uh, needs to be established to make sure that the data transmission is taking place. So here, uh, here data transmission takes place here, each of the pocket will contain information that has to be processed to the end users. So there will be a uniform path, path created by the circuit, but here there will be no uniform path because it is a form of mesh, uh, mesh layer that is formed, mesh protocol that is being formed and it is ideal for voice communication. So I have told no, it comes under telephone network. So here it is mainly used for data transmission as a delay is not uniform. So here the path is not uniform. So there may be a delay. So it, it, it will be, it will have some ununiform data that is transferred. So these are some important points that you can cover under circuit switched uh, with packets, which you can compare these two networks. You can also take some examples for this and compare each examples. And this is categorized the four basic topologies. So four basic topologies is nothing but bus, mesh, star and ring. So you can tell bus is, is like a form of line topologies. See, it is a line topology. Mesh is nothing but all nodes will be interconnected. Star is nothing but you will have a central hub connected to different clients. So uh, ring will be a formation of loop. Now you will be explaining how the data is transferred in the bus. So connection of, so some examples you can give, connection of Wi-Fi uh, in different flows. So this will be a, a backbone network. From that backbone network at different flows, the connection of different nodes will be available. So that will be the bus topology. Mesh topology is telephone regional office. That is each of the telephone, let this be the main office connected, interconnected to different each other nodes, telephone nodes, so that each and every nodes can communicate. So star is nothing but wherever local area network is formed, there you can form the star topology, having one central hub communicating to different nodes of very small area. And this ring topology, you can tell this as a home network. That is, you will have a hub communicating inside only inside the home uh, uh, inside the room inside the hall inside the kitchen so it will form a loop the hub will form a loop so it is nothing but like a fibonacci series how uh, how it is formed how fibonacci series is formed it is a loop formation of different letters so that example you can give for this topologies so hope you're clear with all these important questions. Stay tuned for more information about a different question, important question banks and different topics under computer network. Thank you so much. Keep supporting us.